Whether you've just finished casting on or you've been knitting for a while, you'll end up with a series of loops around your needle. In your left hand, go ahead and grab the needle, but first wrap the yarn around your fingers the way you like it. I usually wrap it around my little finger once, underneath my ring finger and middle finger, and around my first finger. This allows quick and easy adjustments to tension. In my right hand, I've got my other needle. To start your first row of knitting, what you're going to do is insert the tip of the needle into the loop at the bottom and underneath the left hand needle. So what you end up with is an X with the loop of yarn around the X. Next you're going to loop this yarn that's coming from the ball around and over that bottom needle. The next part is the hard bit. You're going to leapfrog over the yarn on the bottom needle. Leap and what you'll have, if you can just see a little bit underneath, is the yarn poking through underneath the top needle. You can put your thumbnail on that to hold it in place. And then we're going to slide the top needle up and right over the tip of the bottom needle. So you'll have one loop on top with the top needle in that loop and one loop on bottom with the bottom needle, needle in that loop. Carefully slide this bottom needle, or yeah, slide the bottom needle down and under the top needle just kind of roll it off and then you've got your first stitch needed, knitted. Again, the tip of the needle goes and makes an X with the top needle and through the loop. The yarn goes over. You leapfrog over the yarn and just roll that top needle right over the tip of the bottom needle and slide the stitch off the bottom needle. Down and under to cross, yarn over, leapfrog, roll through. So when you speed it up, it looks about like that. David, come on, darling.